Welcome to MBS Show, episode number 418. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and today we have some news. And the news is kind of pointed at one direction, uh, and said news is all about uh, my little pony pony life. And let's hop right into it. So first up, two new episodes of Pony Life possibly reveal how Applejack got her hat back and pony apocalypse meow. So, um, the website lists down two episodes out there, and uh, by the source we get no. Oh no! Uh, you know what? Let's let's look at the picture. Okay, um, as Pinky Pie uh, predicts, uh, per- participates for the royal. Jelly Judge Juggernaut for the time makes an adorable an ador- makes an adorable new friend with a dark sense of humor. Fluttershy has to muster all of her cuteness to protect her friends from bubbles dark side. That seems to be a very interesting episode. And it says part one and part two. And the other one is uh, how Applejack got her hat back. And this one is Applejack finds herself in the midst of an identity crisis when her signature hat becomes a city-wide fashion craze. Thank you, Rarity. Applejack joins a group of alternative ponies in the hopes of finding a new style to replace her old look. Hmm. Hmm. So, this is not the only episode synopsis out because we also got a few more. Uh, This one and this one. uh, Bad thing number three. Rarity tries to get rid of her bad luck before it can ruin her relationship with a new friend. As Rarity continues to deal with her bad luck, she receives some much-needed advice from an from an unexpected source herself. Hmm. Pinkie Pie, hyper helper. Pinkie Pie struggles to help out her friends with preparing for the final round of the Royal Jelly Juggernaut as Pinkie Pie enters the final round of the final round of the... Wow! Did they seriously wrote that? As Pinkie Pie enters the final round of the final round of the Royal... Wow, okay. Of the Royal Jelly Juggernaut, the other ponies rally behind her. And this one... Uh, Let's see. No, 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 not this one. Uh, not much, but the trials, the trails less throttled death of the sales pony and big hoof walking the Fluttershy effect. Those are titles, not synopsis, but there's a pattern here. Okay, um, <clears throat> one of the few things that I noticed that, um, there's no schedule date for this. Well, at least tvpassport.com says stuff like what? Uh, season 1 of My Little Pony Pony Life Episode Guide. Um, season... Eh, okay, okay, okay. June 20th, June 20th, June 27th. About a week away, okay. So, um, it's probably about what? Um, next week or something like that? Uh, yeah, probably about next week. But we got no confirmation yet because, uh, well, this comes up. Uh, My Little Pony Pony Life may have been delayed, written by Sophisto. So I'm just going to read the whole blurb for this one because me set up, uh, summarizing it is not that great. So anyway, uh, some strange news has arrived as of yesterday that we still aren't entirely sure on. Discovery family finally released their highlight for this month and within uh, and within they do not mention pony life at all they do list pony palooza event happening on june 8th but specifically talk about season 9 and Mar- equestria goals <clears throat> Ju- july's highlight have also been uh, sorry also released with no pony life in sight. The listing we, mm, the listing site we were using for 
titles and synopsis over the past week have all started distilling or this this well uh, things as swapping the schedule to other shows on Discovery Family for the 13th of June date that was being teased. It could just be a bip or we could be seeing another delay on the release of this thing, maybe August. At this point, we all sorry, all we can do is hope. We will let you all know if anything comes up and definitely prep for June 13, just in case. So, it seems that uh, Pony Life it has a rocky start. It has a rocky start with the pandemic and the chaos that's going on in the uh, United States. It's understandable that a few things might get delayed and pushed back a bit. I ain't, uh, I ain't <laughs> want to question. Uh, more, there are some other things that are really important than ponies, and that's what's going on now in the uh, world as of, as we speak, unfortunately. But, okay, uh, let's get back to ponies. So, one of the few things I noticed here that each episode has two... Well, sorry, one episode has two parts to it. Uh, part one and part two. In, like, it, it's similar to how Transformers is doing it. Uh, we may not even get a full 25, sorry, 22 episode uh, length or wait. 22 episode, sorry, 22 minute episode, yes. Uh, if you notice how Transformers are doing it, they are doing the same thing where uh, they set up for the episode, okay, they set up the problem and the middle, and then they finish with the conclusion, and, uh, sorry, climax and conclusion. So that's how uh, Transformers are doing it now, and it works for them. It, if you have a story that you want to put a cliffhanger on, that would be that that can work. But for ponies, I got no idea. It's an interesting concept. I think it might work. It worked for other shows like what uh, for I mean, before Transformers. Probably it would work for ponies, and it did work for the earlier style cartoons. Um, I think what SpongeBob was one of them. Uh, ben 10 probably and Adventure Time yeah Adventure Time does that a lot and also Steven Universe so this format could work for ponies since this is a uh, more light-hearted uh, show but what I do notice here also that some of the episodes styling is more based on uh, slice of life is a, one way to describe it but it also feels like um, this one. Uh, Fluttershy makes an adorable new friend with a dark sense of humor. And it feels like they're trying to experiment with few things that they couldn't do with 22 minutes because it could be long and draggy. But if things go according to my theory, uh, we're still having the 22 minute episodes here. In, instead of having one long cut, we'll just have shorter ones because um how would I put this because it's split into two parts eh, who knows but other than that I would like to see where they take this like the synopsis is one thing and some of the stories that they're trying to tell is pretty interesting like uh Applejack and her new hat yeah like everybody's wearing the Stetson then that's going to be cool. And what, Rarity gets advice from herself? Are we going to get inner Rarity? Or are we going to get time traveling Rarity? Or are we going to get uh, future Rarity that's all giving advice to younger Rarity? Who knows? With the format here, we got no idea how they're going beyond or going forward. But with the delay and whatnot, We'll see. I, I, I'm excited for it because it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun show to just sit down and relax and just take in. Because 
it's not your normal pony. So I, I don't know. I mean, to me, it, it, I feel like it's going to be okay. But in the back of my mind, it feels like this is just going to be another uh, Teen Titans Go or even uh, Thundercats Roar. But I do hope that the quality of writing is good right out of the gate. Because Teen Titans Go started off rough, but it found its place and tempo as time goes on. And with this one, I do hope that ponies find straight away their tempo and just get that thing moving on. Like, this is ponies, this is a different style of ponies, but still everybody is still the same. Voice actors and voice like, voice actress are the same. Characteristics are the same, yet turned it up to 11 just because wouldn't it be fun to see Applejack or Pinkie Pie going... Okay, for Pinkie Pie, uh, her hyperactiveness goes up to 11. Uh, Applejack's serious demeanor turns up to 11 and so on. And Rainbow Dash cockiness is turned up to 11. I mean, there's possibilities there. So the concept is ideal. We'll just have to see, wait and see how this goes. So other than that, um, that's the news for this week. So, there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things happened recently. And those things are not... How do I put this? They're not positive. I, I know I'm... I, I know I'm one not... Hmm. I know I'm not one to talk about it because of where I'm living and where, and, and my current situation because I can't relate. I got no idea what you guys are going through, but I can emphasize. Um, a bit, I, I, hmm, hmm, I can sympathize. Yes, that's a word. What's, what's going on right now is very bad. It's not a great look for the United States of America right now. You guys have a really great country with great people. But what's going on right now is tarnishing that. I do hope that things goes well for you guys. And I do hope that change comes soon. Because right now, you guys could use all the support that you can get and need. With the pandemic going on, and with the civil unrest, you guys really need all the support you can get. So, I hope me talking about ponies can cheer you up a bit and make a little difference in your life. I, I do hope that. And... If it doesn't affect you at all, well, it's okay. I mean, like I mentioned before, it doesn't affect me personally because of where I am and different cultures or not. But still, I do hope that you guys fight through this or fight is not the right word for it. Like, stay strong and get through this. And other than that, um... I can't say much. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? Uh, what have I been doing with my week is nothing much. Um, play some games. Oh, um, my television broke down f for the strangest reasons. Uh, long story short, as we still would put it too late, my PlayStation 4 couldn't really hook up to the TV. It's not showing any signals. So sent it to the shop, tested it on their TV, and it worked. And the darnest thing is that I tried it on the Switch, it worked. I tried it on the CCTV, and it worked. Just only my PlayStation 4. So got it back, tried it again, and still it didn't work. Got no idea what's going on. Used the same cable as the Switch. Uh, tried a lot of things, still didn't work. So... I put my PlayStation 4 on the 
uh, PC monitor and it worked. So I got no idea what's going on. My, my TV is just bonkers. So a troubleshoot and no answer for it. So yeah. But now I'm playing on, if I'm playing any PlayStation 4 games, it'll be on my monitor right now. So that is going to be very strange. Not that I haven't done it before, I've did it, but still, it's one of those things that I wish I didn't have to do it this way because I want to play on a big screen. Hmm? First of all, problems, I guess. But other than that, um, it seems that, um, on the 10th, Malaysia is going to review its, sorry, on the 9th, uh, Malaysia is going to review its, uh, pandemic status and see if we are fully open or still partially open. Uh, as for now, uh, the cases in Malaysia is still there. Not high, but still there. It's quote-unquote safe levels, but I do hope that it clears out 100%. So that's the hope. That's the dream. But other than that, I do hope that things goes back to normal and if we still need to uh, keep our, not keep quarantine, but if we need to partially open, I understand because it's better to be safe than sorry because you, it, okay, it's a hassle at points where you need to wear a mask going out, wash your hands and do all this stuff. I mean, those things are technically essential, like before you eat, wash your hands. Uh, try not to touch people or try not to shake people's hand because it's been proven before the COVID. If you go to a convention, you shake a person's hand, you get the corn crud. So just imagine that, but on a larger scale and with no way of getting better. Ay, that's scary. But still, uh, that's besides the point. Just imagine that, just imagine doing that. Keeping a safe distance and whatnot, all that stuff, and putting on a mask, washing your hands, sanitizing your hands, all that stuff. I mean, it is the practical thing to do. Like, consider consider it as a daily routine. Like, what's wrong with not wearing a mask? Because wearing a mask makes you look cool, like a ninja. So, think, think positive. Think positive. So, I'm just going to wrap it up here because there's nothing much for me to share with you guys besides the same old repeating stuff so anyway um i have been sorry no uh let's see i'm derping uh where is my script okay yeah <laughs> sorry uh okay if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the gmail.com you can also reach us on the twitters the show's twitter account is at the MBS show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo also uh please subscribe and read us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PanelLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash the MBS show. Uh, with every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And uh, why should you support the show on Patreon? Well, like I mentioned before, uh, you get early access to review discussion podcasts and all this stuff. But here's the thing. Uh, when we record the review and discussion podcast, uh, there's always the raw file or raw edits where we don't really do much beyond press record, sync up, talk about topics, and turn off recording. With the one that you're receiving right now on the YouTubes, it's Turn on, sync up, record, turn off, edit all the naughty bits out and post it up for a much more PC version. So if you would like to hear a much more raw file of the show, patreon.com is the place to go. You, you'll get to hear Silver say the most darnest things. And trust me, Hearing Silver say some naughty words is really, really different. Let's just say that. 
Like, hmm. But anywho, um, yes. Uh, thanking people, yes, that's what I do. <laughs> so, I like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. Your support is really awesome. I, I can't thank you guys enough. I, I really can't thank you guys enough. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and this has been the NBS show, and I'll guess catch you next week with another fun episode. See ya! <laughs>